Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and welcome to the third video of how to work with your burst wizard. Now in this video, we're going to show you a really cool feature that's a little bit more challenging to play with. This is going to be working with the sniper delay. So in this scenario, what it does is it mimics the situation as if you had a bolt action sniper rifle where you can only shoot one shot per every few seconds or however long you decide. So in this demonstration, what we're going to do is change the delay to two seconds. So essentially, you'll be on semi-automatic only, but you can only shoot one shot every two seconds, which is going to be quite a challenge. So let's jump into the details of how to do it. All right, guys, now remember when working with any airsoft gun and whenever you're going to pull the trigger to program the burst wizard, make sure the gun is 100% safe and clear. The gun is pointed in a safe direction and everyone in the area is wearing iPro. Be safe, guys. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here is set up the Burst Wizard to have a sniper delay. So like always, make sure you plug in the Burst Wizard into the gun first. And once again, for the first five seconds of when you plug in the battery to the MOSFET, it's going to not blink at all and wait for uh, a program to be entered because that's the programming mode. If you don't want to do anything, just uh, let the five seconds go by and it will go into normal function. But what we're going to do here is enter command module 8 by plugging it, plugging it in and pulling the the trigger eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to respond with eight blinks, letting you know that we're in command module eight. At that point, we're going to pull the trigger one time, and that is going to respond once, saying we're in sniper delay mode. And now we're pulling the trigger ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to confirm that we pulled the trigger ten times. Wait, and then blink three times quickly, confirming that the command was entered in and saved, and then go back to its normal function. Now, what I did and why I pulled the trigger 10 times is that is setting how long the sniper delay is going to be. For those 10 trigger pulls, each one of those trigger pulls is going to be 0.2 seconds. So essentially, we did it 10 times, times 0.2. This is now having a sniper uh, trigger delay of 2 seconds. So let's test it out. One, two, and then we can shoot again. All right, guys, so now we have changed our MOSFET to have a two second sniper delay. So if we pull the trigger, we have to wait a full two seconds until the gun will shoot again, like so. One, two. Now we're good to go. If you guys want to reset your MOSFET to its factory settings, click the link over here for a video how to do that. Or if you want to see more great features of the Burst Wizard, click on the link over here for more features.